So many new products, so little time. This is the all new DJI Mini 2. It might look familiar because we just had the Mavic Mini recently on here and we love this, but this camera, this drone shoots 4K. We're gonna talk about what's different about the Mavic Mini and the Mavic Mini 2 here in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned. What's going on guys, Patrick here with Drone Nerds. And today we're talking about, or I guess we're gonna open up the box here with the DJI Mini 2. Looks pretty similar on the box, but one thing that I noticed right away is it says 4K on the camera. That's a big deal. Let me just get out my unboxing knife here and unbox this. Whoa, there it is, the Mini 2. And yeah, see it? Oh, some wires. We got some controllers. So this is not the combo. It does come with a remote. So this is just the Mini 2 in a box, but it comes with the new style remote. So looking at the original Mini and looking at the Mini 2, it does look pretty similar in terms of form and function. There's a little thing on the front here. I don't know if that's a sensor or if that's a light or what that is. Looks like something different there on the front of the drone. There's a little light thing. We still got the intakes. There's no sensors. Still seems like it's the same weight. What's the big deal? We got 4K. Now the 4K obviously is gonna be the big deal here. Shooting 4K on the Mavic Mini. Well, the Mavic Mini 2, that's a big deal. So originally the Mini 2 came with this style controller, which we've always kind of seen with the Mavic, but pretty simple, just basic controller. The Mini 2 is gonna be coming with this new style remote that's very similar to the Mavic Air 2 controller. I love this controller. I've been flying a lot with the Mavic Air 2. The form, the function, the size, everything about it's very nice. So I'm impressed or I'm happy to see that they are now including this with the Mini 2. So going over quickly the specs on the Mini 2, you're gonna get a 31 minute flight time. Obviously the drone weighs less than 249 grams. You're gonna also, this is a big deal, this is a big deal. You're gonna get the OcuSync 2.0 HD video transmission. That's a big deal because it's gonna give a lot, lot better signal than the Wi-Fi that originally came with the Mini. So the Mini 2's gonna have the OcuSync 2.0, but you're gonna get a much stronger connection from your phone to the drone, being able to see the HD video transmission to your phone and be able to, to know what you're filming. And really the big difference between the Mini 2 and the Mini is gonna be the 4K camera. Well, I guess now we gotta go out and fly it. It's really windy, it's like 30 mile an hour winds, but on the box it says that it has level five wind resistance. I wonder what that means. Let's, let's, go, let's go find out what that means. So just like the original Mavic Mini, the Mavic Mini 2 is going to be using the DJI Fly app. So everything else looks very similar to what we had before in terms of safety, geo fencing and all that. The one thing that I did find is that you can change the LED on the front. You can change the color. There's also different modes with the gimbal mode as well, being follow mode or FPV mode. If you put the gimbal mode into follow me, you can see how the gimbal is fixed horizontally when the drone is moving. But if you put it into FPV mode, you can see how the drone, the camera follows the drone. So if I'm toting the drone to the right, the camera follows the drone to the right. If you really wanna get some close proximity flying, you could put it into FPV mode to do that. Also, you can go through the camera, you can set it up with JPEG RAW or shooting in 4.3 or 16.9, depending how you wanna shoot. Everything is pretty much very similar to what we've seen before in the past. The big thing really, like we talked about earlier, is the OcuSync 2.0. So you're gonna have a 5.8 gigahertz or a 2.4 gigahertz. Dual band's going to basically switch back and forth between 2.4 or 5.8 gigahertz for your antenna signal going to the drone and giving you that HD video on your phone with the OcuSync 2.0. Also, what I like to do a lot of times when I'm filming is I will change the exposure value 
depending on how bright it is, I might go to like a 0.1, a negative 0.1 or a negative 0.3 there, depending on how bright it is. But most of the time, I'm normally dropping that exposure value down a little bit there. You've got a couple different things. You got the normal mode, you've got sport mode, which will be higher speed. The drone's gonna be a lot more responsive when it's in sport mode. And you've also got cine mode, which is gonna be slower and allow the drone to really kind of slowly move around and get those cinematic shots. So you can see here, I'm filming from inside to outside in cinema mode. The drone is very stable, flies straight and slow. In this clip here, I'm filming in sport mode and you can see how fast the drone flies. Very stable, very precise, feels good when you're flying it. You don't feel like you're all over the place. The drone really does perform like a larger drone in a small package. Here again, I'm trying to show you how stable the drone is, even in the windy conditions that the drone holds position. Even though the drone is small, it still forms and handles like a larger size drone. All right, so recapping, let's talk about why the Mavic Mini 2 is a amazing little drone for only $450. First off, you're gonna get the drone, you're gonna get the controller, you're gonna have a battery, you're gonna have the USB-C, charging you got everything you need for 450 dollars to fly a drone in the sky shooting 4k video guys this is amazing and now i know people aren't really focused on the fact that this has ocusync 2.0 but i could tell right away when i was downtown flying around the buildings and things like that i could tell right away that the signal was stronger i had better interaction with the drone i never lost signal with wi-fi on the original mavic mini it at points could get a little glitchy and have issues with different Wi-Fi's interacting with the controller. But with the Mavic Mini 2, no longer do you have to worry about that because guess what? You have OcuSync 2.0. So it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Also, 4K on the Mavic Mini 2. You're getting 4K, you're getting OcuSync 2.0 for $450. It's mind blowing, guys. It's mind blowing to, to say the least. I've been filming with drones for the last five, six years. And to imagine that there's a drone out there that shoots 4K, that has OcuSync 2.0, that has everything that you need to shoot amazing 4K video for only $450, that's mind blowing. And that's exactly why I'm going to give my stamp of approval on the Mini 2. If you guys haven't ever had a drone before, there's never been a better time. Also, if you're looking to give someone a gift for the holidays and things like that, I would, I would definitely check out one of these bad boys. The Mavic Mini 2, we have them in stock at Drone Nerds. Not sure how long we're going to have them in stock for because with the way the world is right now and everything's being so crazy and hectic, I would definitely grab one of these before they go out of stock because they're going to go out of stock. These are going to be flying off the shelves. So after you get done watching this video, head on over to DroneNerds.com and grab a Mavic Mini 2 for yourself or for your children or for your husband or your wife or whoever is looking to have a drone this Christmas or holiday season, this is definitely your best bet. Definitely your best bet. So there it is, the Mavic Mini 2. I approve. It's got 4K. It's got the Ocusync 2.0. I love the original Mavic Mini, and I love the Mavic Mini 2 even more. So there it is.